Hi, welcome back to Coding at Home. The game that we're going to play today is called Keep Off My Path because the two players of the two teams will be building their own path but on the same board and simultaneously. And every time one of the team places a tile on the checkered board, this tile is not only useful to build part of a path but also because in this way the team will prevent the other team to going and stepping into the same box. So let's see how it works. But first of all, let me remind you which are the three elementary instructions that we have in our instruction sets, which are represented by the three tiles, the yellow one, the gray one, and the red one that you see here on my table. So the yellow one means the part left. So every time the robot steps into this tile, it has to turn left before leaving this box. The gray one means go straight, while the red one means turn right before exiting the box. Okay, so now we have to decide where to start. So this is the starting point and for instance I can place it uh, okay, here, which is much easier for me. And um, there will be no target and I'll uh, tell you why in a moment, but I have also to place uh, another starting point for the other team. And uh, the player will be Anna today. Hi. Hi Anna. Um, I think that Anna can go first, but I have uh, first of all to tell her the rule. So we have to place uh, one tile at a time starting from our starting points. So I will place my tile here and she will uh, place uh, her tile over there. And um, what we have to do is uh, to keep um, placing tiles as long as possible. This means that the team that uh, can still place more tiles while the other one is blocked will win. Okay? Yes. Okay, please. Okay, I can start this way, just not to do exactly the same. Okay, so please consider that at this point we are not only building our path but also trying to block the other team or to prevent the other team to keep building uh, the path. Not sure this is a good idea. Uh, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it is not. Uh, so right now I could make this move, but if I place this tile here, Anna will block me soon. So this is not what I'm going to do. And instead I will go straight. But as you can see, Anna has many more boxes, empty boxes, uh, on the side of the checkered board where uh, she is developing her path than me, because I have just uh, five empty boxes. So I can uh, go ahead, but probably I will lose. Let's see. So as you can see, I'm done because I can do nothing but finishing my path while Anna 
has still a lot of space uh, where to build their path. So just to show you which are the two paths, turn right, turn left, turn right, go straight, go straight, right, right, go straight, left, and that's it. While this is Anna's, Anna, can you please yes. do it? So go straight, go straight, turn right, go straight, turn right, turn right again, turn left, left, go straight, go straight, and you and could. I could go on. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so she won, but we can play another match. Okay, let me put the red ones all together. There they are. Okay. Okay, thank you. And we can choose different starting points, like this, for instance. Okay, please. Okay. Okay. Hmm. This time I think that Okay. I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> But with a smaller gap than the one that you mm -hmm. had before. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay, so as you can see, she's blocked while I can keep playing and building my path. Okay, so this is the game. And I have a few questions to ask you about this game. Please notice that you can choose many different uh, starting points. For instance, uh, you could also start from internal boxes, like in this way, okay? Trying to develop uh, your path starting from inside rather than from outside. So are there any starting points that favor one of the two teams? This is the first open question. Or could there be a draw? Is it possible for the two teams uh, not to, to win? Or does the player that goes first have an advantage over the other one? Mm, I think so, but I'm not sure. So you have to think about it. And is there any water ride game strategy that the player who moves first can adopt to make sure not to lose? So, I leave you with these open questions. Goodbye.